Wow, check out this thing. It's an old Datsun. 240Z. First edition Series 1 car. You guys are going to like this story. After about four hours, we made it to West Palm. Waiting on the guy to meet me up the street from the car. We'll see how it goes. I don't know what I'm going to be able to film when I'm there looking at the car with the guy. I'm not sure what the situation is going to be. So it might just be real brief, but... Worst come to worst, I'll get it loaded, get it out of there, and we'll take a little better look at it. Don't want to mess the deal up with them. Series 1 cars are so hard to come by, and can't really talk a lot about it until I get it bought. Just in case the guy gets squirrely on us or something happens, but we'll see how it goes. If we can, we'll film it as we're getting it. If not, it'll be when it's down the street, but uh, four-hour drive. Let's hope we made it made it uh, worthwhile and we get a good car and lots of good parts well as i suspected i couldn't do much from just sitting there phone is ringing i took that wants it it's a beauty got it loaded series one 240 california car never tell by the rust got it on the trailer and get out of here real quick before we got any issues but there it is all right, got back in late last night, just getting to the car, so here we are. Got it off the truck, sitting here. 1970 Series 1 240Z. <clears throat> just going to give a quick walk around. And you can see it's been neglected for a while. Good thing is, it's a Series 1. It's, <clears throat> excuse me, long night. It's almost entirely complete. An original. I'm gonna say it has original paint. I see nothing that's been spotted except for this goofy lower valance California thing since it's a California car. But <clears throat> haven't seen these in a while. Western Cyclone wheels. Got a nice set of those on it. They're the Michelin, uh, I'm sorry, the uh, metric size. So <clears throat> a couple things we'll go over on the car. So the Series 1 cars. 240Z. Series 2, and we'll get into that in a second, we can say dots in there. <clears throat> Another thing, we got the ventilation, which they discontinued because fumes were coming back in the car. If you notice on the defroster, they're going vertical. Later cars, they go horizontal. Big difference. You see it was a California car, last registered 10. Rusty's can be, but complete. So, cool things about <clears throat> Series 1. Seats are different. Your adjustments. Turn signal, different. Look inside. Uh, climbing this jewel here real quick. Speedometer. Hard to see. Kind of dirty. Clean that off for you. Notice the starting, starting mile per hour is 20. Later cars are going to be zero. We got a map light. <clears throat> we got an ashtray. Of course we got the actually the steering wheel here is gonna clean up pretty nice I believe shifter wood shifter looks pretty nice crazy things we got the original Hitachi AM radio power antenna button very very hard to come by pieces always get replaced but <clears throat> door panels aren't too bad we got the tool kit We got the jack box. There's a cover for the tool side. And they go behind the seats. Lots and lots of really cool Series 1 parts. Whoa, as my foot goes through the floor and we're stuck. Look at that. Not cool. Alright. Get around. Do a little look in here. I believe that's Series 1 only also. So Series 1, Series 2 is not official, but most people will say that just due to... The first 500 cars I think were 1969, were 70 models, but people call them 69s. Really, they're 70s. Built for the model year 70. Anyway, <clears throat> those are Series 1. 70 cars are Series 1. 
early 71 cars they started making a lot of changes i don't know the vin number specific but all the things i'm showing you have gotten changed over in the later cars let's see get the hood to open up here trying to be a little more prepared for you guys but i guess it wouldn't so if i'm not mistaken the hoods are different on the early cars so late with all the bracketry another cool thing didn't really say colors off but this would be a 905 paint code which was uh i believe 70 only maybe in the early 71 valve cover rocker cover whatever you want to call it nissan 2400 later cars do not say that rare cool thing among others we had original engine Okay, we got metal fan that was early only they changed the plastic because they had problems with them coming apart going through the radiator this car is very original under dash light or however you want to call that your trouble light but as you can see we had some rust issues so this one i'm really torn on these cars are hard to come by Especially with the original components. Air cleaner is different. We don't have any uh, heat riser stuff in it. Flat top SUs. Um, really torn on this one. If it was not a Series 1 car, probably wouldn't have bought it, honestly. But it would definitely be coming apart for parts. This one here is a tough call. Really tough call. You can see the shape it's in. It's savable. I've done worse, but we're going to need to do a lot on it. Definitely not a car I'd want to destroy by parting it out. Just because of the originality, and it has most all the super rare pieces with it. We're going to have to give this one some thought. I got two other 240s in the works. It will probably do a side-by-side -side comparison car that's a little bit later in this one, uh, late build 71. But yeah, as you can see, before I got to pick it up, the guy thought he was doing something to show me the condition of the car. And that was a whole other ordeal too, getting this thing. But this is what it is. He gave it a quick wipe over. Like I said, I believe it's all original paint. car really is remarkably original it's just the same its original condition is this but if it wasn't I probably never would have got it because you guys know what these things go for uh, high-end series 1 70 240z with six digits do a little side-by-side -side comparison in the next video here just to show some differences but overall it was definitely worth the drive definitely interesting car love getting out and finding stuff if you guys ever know of anything hit me up well hit me up with a like I always appreciate that subscribe we're always looking for cars and if you guys find something a lot of times i'll pay finders fees you know depending on what it is where it is if we can get it i'm more than happy to make it worth you all's time to get in contact with me we try to save all of them one way or the other whether it's for parts for other ones or what i really like to do is put them back together that's my, my thing i like preserving history and this is a car that definitely revolutionized the sports car market these things were way ahead of their times and changed how a lot of sports cars were produced afterwards hope you guys enjoyed it like i said give me a like give me a subscribe stay tuned we'll have more stuff got another video coming out here shortly on another car i just picked up thanks guys just gonna try a little extra bonus footage here of the 7240z series one gave it a quick pressure wash definitely 100 percent original paint as you can see everywhere you look no signs whatsoever of paint work super super unique car 
was actually in better shape than I was thinking it was when I bought it. I'm assuming one of the windows was left down, if not both, when it was sitting underneath the tree. And 90% of the rust is floor plans and rockers. The actual front frame sections and rear frame sections are pretty good. Pretty pleased with that. Super pleased. Series one original paint. Not only the original paint, like we mentioned before, the originality. Didn't do anything inside yet, but I'm just gonna give it a little quick look. Like I said all the rust is mainly floor pans, rockers, whatnot. It is an amazingly good shape. As far as the originality part it's starting to look like we're going to keep this one and build it it is a fairly unique car every aspect of it makes me like it a little bit more and more enjoy i'm still going to put it next to a series 2 240 and do a comparison before we start the build process which there's several cars in line before that but we'll definitely get to it so stay tuned, like, subscribe, we'll go from there. Thanks guys.